everybody and welcome back to tactical breach wizards very cool puzzle game i am loving it dude we learned so much in the last episode just about our boy here and his predictive bolt being able to be pushed into it by her super neat S opens up the game hugely uh the false prophet ability we got very cool and we got some more dreams here. We got these, the Tower of Turrets that we're gonna do later, not now. Uh, we can unlock. Ah, okay. It didn't save my choices last time, it seems. Okay, cool. So, nothing new on the map, it seems. We got shot in the head last time by uh, a mob doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Uh, she seems to have joined us in some sense of the in the uh, of some sense. I don't necessarily know how far if she's going to actually join the team, which would be an interesting dynamic if like, I don't know, say she could shoot us when we're one on one HP and then it fully heals us. That'd be cool. But don't see her having a lot of tactical use, honestly. I think it might just be a kind of story way of saying we don't actually die on missions, if that makes sense. But who knows? We're we're gonna move on. Uh, we've got we got we spent some stuff last time. Those persisted. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> I didn't uh, keep the outfits, but let's move on here. Let's get into it. That's a very good hat. What a start. What an excellent <laughs> jumping right in. What a point to come back to. Beer. I love the big beer sign. Just beer. Uh, <laughs> you're a very good hat. Okay. Okay, we've exhausted the marketplace of ideas. I'm going to bed. Wait, I've got something for you. Your dog tags. They're my vessel. Keep them with you and you'll get some of my brain future eyes. What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> Your foresight? It won't be as clear as what I see, uh, but should be enough to save your ass now and then. Zan, I don't know what to say. No one's ever given me their vessel before. Oh, look at them. So cute. But you just saved my life for the second time in two days. I was barely conscious in there, and somehow you carried it. Kind of fuzzy on it myself. I'm very fuzzy on it, actually. You kind of skipped over the whole damn thing. Uh, but also, you trusted me on this thing from the jump. No one's, No one's had that kind of faith in me in a long time. Becoming a wanted criminal did help clinch the decision. <laughs> it's not to have the geopolitical crisis as an excuse to reconnect. Oh, it's nice to have a geopolitical crisis to have an excuse as an excuse to reconnect. Of course, man, you've never let me down. Uh, being a wanted criminal did help with the decision. Still. All right. That's my sincerity limit for tonight. Uh, back to mocking your tactics tomorrow. And back to mocking your age if you last that long. Oof. The bar, late morning. Everyone getting hungover? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if those glasses are part of the outfit or if he is actually hungover. Hi, Kitty. Uh, all right, what's next? I've got to meet my contact in... Jalipa? <laughs> Uh, pay him for the ride and see if he's got anything new. One company? Nah, it'll only spook him. Blech. It'll only spook him. You two see the sights. Well, speaking of people who haven't paid, we broke you out of a torture prison. And if you want to finish the job, you could get my gear back. Thought I did. You used it to reverse us? That's just my res bag. 
They also took my Ghost Skull Gary and my Tibia of Trauma transference. What the fuck are you talking about, lady? <laughs> Maybe she just does join the team after we get all her stuff back. Uh, the skull in your bag, that's not Ghost Skull Gary? <laughs> Did that skull look like a Gary to you? I firmly believe anyone can look like a Gary. <laughs> Takes all kinds, I guess. But no, that was obviously Nigel. Dumb bitch. God, how fucking ignorant can you get, dude? Honestly. Reactor Black Sight, Armory Wing. Okay, so we're going back to get her shit, and she's here. Okay. Uh, so how do those flanks... Uh, so how do those flasks work? <laughs> Is it a, a Shrink Tears base or Hex Sap? They're just drugs. I just throw drugs at people. And that works. <laughs> uh, what do the drugs do? So you've got no other craft right now? All right, let's do this. And that works. It works on people who breathe. What do they do? Loss of balance, drowsiness, uh, some light hallucinations. If you like pushing people around, it makes oh, that a lot easier. Ooh, that might be like a debuff to her knockback stuff. Like I can knock them back further when they're debuffed. I do! <laughs> so you've got no other craft right now. Just power over life and death. And I can open a portal to void dimensions. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Well, let's dig into that. <laughs> she shrugs. I don't know. I just point this cool ass key at the wall and something opens up. Push someone into it. They come back an hour later with thousand yard stare and a newfound interest in investment baking. What? Dude, this is so out of pocket. <laughs> this is really going places. It's like a window you can put into a wall. Oh, now you're talking. <laughs> All right, let's do this. She is, in fact, part of our goddamn team, baby. So, what we want to do first, death's door right behind him, I'm assuming. Let's hold on. Okay, that's I didn't mean to I You know, with playing Rogue Trader at the time, right click cancels whatever action you have readied. And in this game, right click performs whatever action you have ready. Luckily I can just rewind. But I think that was the play. Uh let's see, knock out all the enemies, use the laptop to own the security door, seal the reinforcement door, one left. Uh, finish by the end of turn three. Use death's door to eliminate one hostile. Well, guess what, dude? Oh my god, we just did, I think. Um. I think. Let me cook. We go here. Let me cook the game, dude. Honestly. Jesus Christ. We're gonna grab this mana. We're gonna do a chain lightning. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Gets everyone out of here. Very cool. You can take cover. You. Sedative cocktail. Let's actually read her shit, I guess. <laughs> Maybe for once. Throw a flask that leaves everyone in a one tile radius sedated. Lose one health per turn and unsteady plus one to incoming knockback. What did I just say? Also, fuck me. We gotta rewind all this shit. Hold on. <laughs> so, we're gonna move up. We are going to grab the Cento. We are going to open a door behind him. We are going to do this. Have everyone knock back more. Resurrect, no action, cost mana. Revive a nearby body with full health and one mana. If used on a living ally, kill them first. Uh, revive enemies considered everyone hostile, are stunned for one turn, and cost no mana to res. 
Oh! That's super interesting, actually. Huh. Uh, you're gonna take cover. Now you're gonna go and do your thing. We'll grab that intel. We're gonna go bam, bam, bam. That'll hurt him a lot more, kill him, and then kill him, go out the window. Now I do have this Gale Grenade. Hmm. I don't think that's gonna do anything. So I think that's fine. We just take cover and end it. Use Death's Door. Finish by the end of turn three. I can see <laughs> uh, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. That, uh... Suck. Mmm. Let me cook. I just saw something. Let me cook. I just saw something. Let me cook. So if I go here, if I go here with her, so if I do door right there, I go up here with her, I take that intel, I get in the cover, I go right here, I move over here instead. Yeah, I think that works. I think that's a better play. And then bam, bam, bam. I'm an idiot. I'm actually stupid. Uh huh. Yeah, here. Throw that down first. Well, now. Now you take cover, dummy. Now you go right there. Now you bam, bam, bam. Pushes him back here, gets shot by him. That's exactly what I wanted. Now. Let me see something here. <laughs> okay. Will that do the same thing? Interesting. Now, that did basically what I wanted it to do. Only now I am closer to the door. I can get to this door next turn. Which will help. If I can get rid of this guy coming in. I think that's the play. I don't even need to be in cover. Look at that. In the turn. Let's go. Now. Now we get to have fun. If we go here. I want to kill this man first. So if I do that, how much damage does this do? Four damage. That'll kill him. So I think that's just fine. Cool. Now we move here, we seal the door, and we just have one enemy to deal with. Now... Now... This should work? Question mark? Let's see. <laughs> Let's go, dude! Let's fucking go. You know what? You get the honors. Actually, you know what? You come over here and grab this intel first. Just so we have everything under control. And we're done. That was so clean. Beat a finish in two turn in X turns confidence. Ugh, fuck. Okay. Well. Let's see. I guess I did it in one less thing which is awesome okay what's behind this door is not good specifics i don't know these tags don't give me a clear picture like xan has but it feels kind of blammy this guy this guy feels blammy then you should go first oh real nice look if you can raise the dead too if you can raise the dead too, then shout and I'll waltz right in there. But if not, you're the only one who can satis safely die today. I don't like any part of that sentence. Especially the part where you're right. 
Okay. Hello, motherfuckers. Reactor neutralizer batter. When targeted by the neutralizer, yeah, neutralizer's beam, you can't use any abilities, any spells, generally anything except moving and throwing things. Fuck. That's bad. So, proximity mine explodes with lethal force when anyone steps on the shaded tile. Sick. And I can't do anything with that. I can knock this dude out the window. Easy peasy. I could go there, go here. No, I can't. Wow, okay. I think I will just knock this guy out the fucking window. I think that's the play. I think that's the first play. And we go in here and die is the second play. Where do we want to die, though? Do we want to die here? One guy right here. Okay, she's dead. Resurrect Jin. Finish the turn by N2. Okay. Resurrect. I would like to resurrect. Why can I not resurrect? Please, for love God. Um, I'll go here. I'll grab this intel and I'll resurrect. Okay. Very cool. Now, knock out all enemies, uh, reinforcement door, use the laptop of the security door, and finish by the end of turn two. It's turn one. Cool. So, she's back. She has no movement. She can throw this grenade. I think I will wait to throw the grenade. Uh, I can death door. Now hold on. If I death the door, the security door, will he run into it? Let's see. You know what? It's experiment in time, baby. This cocktail, we can't get to him, so that's fine. I'll do a little tea bag here. That's fine. And let's end the turn. Does not work. Does not work how I thought it would. This is bad. While targeted by the neutralizer's beam, you can't use any spells, generally anything except moving and throwing, when they target whoever's closest. Now, that's a problem. I could have used that over here and thrown him through. Now, I'm scared. Mm. Oh, this does do knockback damage when I hit him with it. So. We've got a problem. Uh, if I move here, he will be targeting her. She can't do these things anyway. Now, I'm free to... Kill this guy. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Uh, let's rewind there. Hello? Okay. Whoever's closer. So it doesn't... So if I go here, that still works. And I can go here, bam, bam. Cast. That works. Now, I can move here and seal the door. Now I should have, says finish in by turn two. Oh, I still have her movement. Oh, well, if I have free movement. And we're done. 
epic. That actually worked out pretty good. It is unfortunate about the demon door thing, or whatever she called it, not working the way I wanted it to. <laughs> but here we are. All right, we're here. They stashed, they stashed my stuff in the next room on the way to the cells. So what are we? What are we looking for? Vessels and channels. I don't know what that means. I only know the word Arcana from TV. No one taught you how to do this stuff? When you summon the living dead in an operating room, no one shows up with a free ride to wizard school. The cops show up with a free ride to a lab tank. And if you get out of there alive, you go underground. Sorry, I didn't mean to patronize. I'm just impressed you can vessel you can use vessels untrained. Explain vessel. The key to unlock the key you use to unlock portals. If an item lets you do something different to your main craft, it's a vessel. Interesting. Another caster carried it long enough carried it long enough that it picked up on picked up something of their craft, so your key a dealer in a skull mask gave that to me for resing her partner from a ketamine overdose. Okay, so she probably had a side hustle in Eldritch Gateways. Then anything that you that just improves your main craft is a channel. So your wand is a channel and your broom is a vessel. Oh my god. I mean it's not brain surgery. It's not rocket surgery, okay? It's not brain science. Uh, no. I completely forgot I brought a broom. <laughs> Jesus Christ, girl. <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna make things so much easier. You dumb bitch. Now you can use the broom breach ability. The broom breach, jump through an adjacent window and re-enter the room from another window as long as the space is clear. Okay. Okay. What is this? Uh, tracker boar steel? Oh, he's got the tracking shot. I thought this was like the same as this, the Overwatch position, but I guess not. So, I guess that's just flavor on the floor. So let's uh, read the description and use it this turn. Okay, I can't actually... Cost no action, two uses per encounter. So do I have to breach here and then use it? I don't understand. Can I move here and then do it? I'm not understanding how to use this. Oh, it does let me. Okay. Okay, and then I just chain bolt the shit out of these guys. Oops. Maybe not. Uh, maybe I just gale grenade these guys. That works. You fucked, loser. And then we will go here. We will go here. We fucked this all up. <laughs> I forgot I had to use her to push this motherfucker. So, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go here, we're gonna use Death's Door, we're gonna go there. With Death's Door. Grab this intel. We're gonna go here. Static Blast. Will that be enough to knock him back? It will not. Will this be enough? It will not. Okay. Finish by the end of turn one. Use Death's Door to eliminate one hostile. So how am I gonna push this man back two spaces? Is the thing. 
or 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 hold up wait a minute can i move there can i take banks over here no 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 rewind i have to have line of sight on this no 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 oh no 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 i'm good uh seal door death door right here and then can i knock him into it no i thought i could do it diagonally i don't know if uh, actually well maybe she wasn't standing there oh uh, well i got a guy coming in anyway which is not gonna be good so hold on <laughs> okay we got a problem so how i'm an idiot i'm actually stupid i'm actually actually stupid i just figured it out okay that's fine we are going to use her to concoct this guy that makes him movable two squares awesome we're gonna death's door we're gonna move first we're gonna go right here we're gonna get this intel we're going to death's door right there actually hold on no that's not the play uh did i already do this guy yes i did i want jen to go there i want her to go here i want the door no i can't put the door there dude uh that was my plan that was my plan actually if i put it there can he do it can he do it that does it okay cool and then we go over here we seal this door and we use the grenade strat very cool we're in who do i want to give this to i will give it to you oops sorry take that and we're done very cool actually i figured it out complete broom breach in one turn very cool clean efficient complete 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 let's go and she got her shit mission complete retrieve ghost skull gary retrieve tibia of trauma transference remember jen has a broom damn how much shit does she have bro if i just leave it on it would she be just grabbing shit forever that's funny okay she's now here a necromedic and she has a point perk to spend four century if someone pushable blocks the window you can still breach there hitting them for three knockback that's pretty strong that straight up tells us that we can breach anywhere relatively so but she's the only one with a perk point to spend i love her table look at that the floating green things the zombies down there with the organs there's gary i'm assuming and then just a revolver very cool sedative cocktail we got drowsy plus one sedated to all targets cool throw a flask that leaves everyone in one tower radius sedated lose one health per turn so does that mean they lose two health per turn and don't get any more additional knockback because that's unsteady that's not okay lightheaded unsteady to the central target plus one unsteady to the central target stings all targets also take one damage on impact then we got death's door we got plus one use per encounter and then we got intercept if a target is pushed into the tile in front of the portal it will pull them in fuck these are all great these are all really good i think for now i'll take the plus one use for encounter 
just for now. The intercept is so good, too. Now I'll take a plus one use for encounters. That's good. Okay. Well, nothing new on the map still. Went and got that done. We got the necromech perfected. Very good. Uh, necromedic. Very good. Four more things here. Nothing new here, it seems. Cool. No new chats. And let's take a look at her outfit. Scalpel sharp. Very cool, very clean. I like it. Funeral chic. I just noticed her bag is leaking blood and her shoes are covered in it. Oh, and that's the key that she got, I guess. For the demon door. Okay. Just black. Frontier medicine. Very cool. Uh, very cowboy. She's got some blood on the hat. I like that. I like that nice little detail. No blood on the boots, though. Absolutely not. Refuse. WizTech. Holy shit. That is so different. WizTech. Sorry. Look at all those belts. It's like Final Fantasy level of belts. And pouches. Like, uh... Like, 80s, 90s comic books. Jesus Christ. Couldn't think there. And she's got, like, little six in her hair. Very cool. Cult phase. Ooh, that's fucking sick looking, dude. That's so sick for a medic, bro. <laughs> that's awesome. Med school. What? What does that have to do? I thought it was going to be, like, a, a scrubs or something, you know? Why is it fully just neon pink? And then death MD. Oh, she gets the fucking halo and it just goes Bravo six going dark. Super cool outfits. Very cool. Well, I'm going to call it there for today. Uh, bit, uh, episodes actually on time for once in my goddamn life. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be uh, using our new fucking cool people, man. I really like Banks here. Dessa. Weird first name. Not gonna lie. If your name's Dessa, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She has very little XP threshold, and also her outfits cost less because of uh, because you're getting her later in the story, I'm guessing. So having her 12 is this big one. God, that's so sick. But yeah, we got our new party member. I'll see you in the next one.